One of the biggest things that I find fascinating is the brain. So when it comes to improving the brain, I'm all in. But one of the biggest questions is the idea of how to better supplement my brain and maybe even become smarter because it would be highly beneficial to increase the amount of time I'm able to focus on certain tasks. And this will be directly proportional to becoming more productive or to simply achieve any goal we want. So during recent years, lots of new research has surfaced about different substances called neurotropics or smart drugs. These have the ability to increase our mental endurance and making us smarter. So for this video, we're gonna see which natural substances, which by the way, don't have any side effects, are effective when it comes to making us smarter after the intro. So first, what are neurotropics and what do they actually do? So basically, these are synthetic drugs that stimulate learning and the capacity for short-term memory. They also help to stimulate bad or good habits whenever we are under stress. For example, maintaining a good habit when going through a hard moment of stress. But what are the qualities of these substances that they must have in order to be considered safe to use? Well, the first aspect is that they must prove not to alter our electromagnetic brain waves. Second, they must be able to cross the blood brain barrier in order to accomplish the function on the brain. And the third aspect is that it cannot have any side effects. One last, it would be that it needs to be able to increase the metabolism and speed at which our brain works. Neuroplasticity is key to achieve for better cognitive function. So whenever we learn something new, we change our network of neurons and changing the way we process information. For example, the moment we learn that sugar is not good, your normal neuronal network changes and every time you eat a pastry, you realize that this is not a good idea and it's due to this change in the neurons. The change of this network of neurons is what helps us to adapt to new things and become more capable later in the future which is what learning essentially is. Substances are not the only thing that change our neural network, but we can also incorporate habits to make us more capable to achieve these tasks. Something that I would never recommend is to use any smart drugs, especially knowing that we have natural supplements that we can simply use to achieve the same without any side effects. And these are plants and herbs that are much more safe and that have the same cognitive functions. A natural supplement that comes from traditional Chinese medicine and it's very well known for its neurotropic effects is Jingo Bilova. This herb is a symbol of longevity that has also shown in studies to have the capacity to produce new neurons. The dose that is demonstrated to be the most adequate it would be between 120 to 240 milligrams and you can drink this between one to four hours before an exam in order to improve your short-term memory and you can just drink it whenever you're gonna have a demanding task or if you simply want to use this to prevent any loss of cognitive function later in your life then taking between 40 to 120 milligrams daily it's simply a good amount another herb from traditional chinese medicine is dss which stimulates the formation of new capillaries this is important because it shows that whenever the blood flow of the brain is affected, there are areas in the cerebral cortex that we won't be able to use. But since the substance is able to form new capillaries and it also works as an antioxidant, it helps to prevent diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. Lion's mane is another type of supplement that comes from a mushroom, which is becoming increasingly more and more known for its neurotropic effects. It contains a substance called beta-glucan, which is a substance that serves a neurotropic function. And it also stimulates cognitive functions, the formation of new neurons, nerve growth, and neuroplasticity, which is key. On top of all these benefits, it also has a function of increasing myelin sheath of the neurons, which as you can already see, all these benefits combined have an overall acceleration of cognitive functions to better your memory 
it protects you from any type of inflammation that you can have of your brain and it reduces anxiety and stress. The substances within the mushroom that make all these reactions possible are called hercinones and you can simply take them in the form of a capsule. These are fortunately being more and more used in cases of early onset dementia or as a supplement whenever wanting to increase cognitive function by simply consuming between 750 milligrams to three grams daily. And as a side note, this is a great moment to think about how our ancestors used to use supplements, just not in a capsule form. Instead, they consume herbs, mushrooms, and, and teas as a daily thing. Another neurotropic that is known but not highly associated with cognitive functions is maca. One to three grams of maca have demonstrated not only to better sexual function, but also our memory and capacity to learn. A question that we should be asking ourselves is why stimulating substances like coffee or maca better our cognitive function? And how come they help us learn faster and increase our short-term memory? The answer has to do a lot with energy. We can't forget that the brain is the organ that most energy consumes. And all of these myths that we learn over time with respect to the brain, such as the one that says that we only use 10% of our brain capacity, is actually not true. The reality is that the amount of oxygen doesn't provide us enough energy to use greater area of the brain. And know that this is not even a matter of intelligence, but instead the quantity of energy that is available in order to activate all the neurons. Therefore, many substances that increase these levels of energy like creatine, for example, they end up having a positive effect on your cognitive performance, our memory, and the amount of time that it takes us to learn something new. Something that's quite interesting is that many supplements like maca, whenever taken early in the morning, not only do they provide more energy to the brain, but they also increase the speed at which we do ketogenesis, meaning the speed at which we can recycle old tissue for a new one this increases, especially whenever doing intermittent fasting. This also keeps our neurons a lot more healthy for a longer period of time and longer lifespan. Another substance is Bacopa, a plant that's also used for cognitive function. There is a lot of information surrounding this plant. One of the functions is its ability to protect our neurons in specific areas of the brain, such as the prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and stratum. These are areas related to behavior, reward system, and processing of short-term memory to long-term memory. Therefore, if you want something to help you change your behavior instead of increasing cognitive function, then using Bacopa is a good option. This is especially good if you had a past in which you consume recreational drugs and you want to minimize long-term effects. For this one, consuming between 300 to 450 milligrams per day should be plenty enough. There are also substances that if we take them together with these supplements, we can maximize these effects. These are synergistic substances that our body needs because they are essential nutrients. These are essentially the raw nutrients and the bricks that helps us build these neurotransmitters. This is a case with vitamins of the group B. Many of these vitamins are cofactors to produce energy within our cells. This means that if I have vitamins, I will be able to produce more energy and therefore higher cognitive performance. And if vitamins B increases our energy levels, vitamin B12 would be even more specific because it has an effect on mood, increases memory retention, ability to focus for long, periods and it prevents neuron damage. This is important because if we have low levels, it means that we increase the risk of dementia. So if you have low levels of B12, you can simply drink supplements or eat more food that are rich on B12. Now essential amino acids, this is essential because our body is not able to produce them. So we need to consume them from an external source. This is what the building blocks are, and we use them to get new neurotransmitters, which are the substances that allows you to process information. Whenever our diet is poured on amino acids, our brain goes through a lot of effort to produce these neurotransmitters 
that our brain requires for that moment. Therefore, if we drink essential amino acids, you can increase cognitive function as well. Your self-esteem increases, it helps you with allergies, reproductive system, synthesis of new tissue. It has so many functions to which I specifically made a video on amino acids. So you can also prevent any mental confusion that comes whenever we deplete the amount of neurotransmitters in our brain, which is the case whenever we consume stimulants like caffeine. Whenever taking this stimulants, it implies that you have enough raw nutrients to build the necessary neurotransmitters and be able to increase the amount of production of these, these neurotransmitters that are gonna send all the information. And if you want to improve on specific mental tasks like memory, you can use acetylcholine because there are always supplements that will help you to improve specific neurotransmitters. So when it comes to learning, how can we better improve our learning capacity? Our ability to learn is directly related to the neuroplasticity that we can create in our brain. This means that our network of neurons need to change and adapt to new patterns so we can process new information. This is important to know because whichever supplement that you consume increases the process, which will mean that you can also increase the learning speed and will also prevent you from making mistakes. And this is a great benefit because once the network of neurons changes, it can never go back to the old ways. This remains for the rest of your life, unlike smart drugs, which do not have this effect. Another great stimulant for neuroplasticity is daily exercise. Weightlifting brings the biggest amount of benefit and secondary to this would be high intensity interval training. Both ways help you to stimulate the formation of neurotropin, which will help you to produce new neurons. Using supplements like omega-3 with EPA and DHA increases the production of myelin to increase communication between neurons. So how can you use all this information in a very practical way? If you have a test, a meeting, or lots of work with immediate deadlines, you can use a combination of essential amino acids to provide enough raw material, acetylcarnitine to reduce mental fatigue, and acetyltyrosine to increase motivation so you can sustain the workload. And this is simply a combination that is composed of amino acids to create more neurotransmitters. And these are substances that are simply essential to your body. Or if instead you are dealing with high levels of stress or anxiety, you can use magnesium and the type of magnesium that, is, that has a higher effect on the brain and not digestion is magnesium trionate, which will help you sleep better and increase retention of information and reduce anxiety. Personally, I would limit the amount of consumption of caffeine and maca for reasons that I've mentioned on my video about coffee. I would exercise daily, or if I have to work or study all day, simply doing rest with intervals with 30 to 60 seconds of, jo uh, of rope jumping within every hour will help you maximize this, these effects of neuroplasticity and learning in general simply by consuming simple natural supplements. Now you know what to do if you have mental demanding days ahead. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, leave us a comment and let us know what else would you like us to cover. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss a video. See you on the next video.